fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the floor for Detroit. On the wings, Kennard and Snell. Griffin is out there with Christian Wood. And it's Rose in at the point. Greg, who would you choose as the best defenders of the NBA pick and roll? Oof. That is a, a tough one. This will surprise some people. Uh, Nikola Jokic ah. is one of the better big men defending the pick and roll, in part because of his instincts. You know, he doesn't impress me in terms of his physical attributes, but his mind, the ability to anticipate, having a sense of how perimeter players play the game, he's a guy that's terrific. Uh, I'll give you an oldie but goodie and Andre Iguodala. He's still terrific. Uh, and, and I pick bigger guys because you've got to be able to switch that and guard smaller players. And, you know, at the center and, and the swing position, those are two guys that still are very reliable. This is getting hotter the deeper we get into this game. I mean, he didn't give him, didn't give him much of anything in the first half. Griffin with the steal. And here's Kennard. Let's it go with a three. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Everybody wants shooters like Kennard these days. Keep hitting threes, Luke. Put on you lots of dough. And he makes that one. Tice has got his first bucket in this one. And ten of their last twelve coming off assists. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. You talk about an unsung hero. Daniel Tice. Last offseason, he agreed to a two-year deal with the Celtics for $10 million. Just another great signing by Danny Ainge. Jalen Brown checked in for Williams. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. Well, Dwayne Casey just going over the game plan with his team down the stretch. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Yep, it goes. And the Piston lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Brown. And so it's Rose bringing it up for the Pistons. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Griffin down low. Tatum on him. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Absolutely behemoth inside. Griffin excels at using his size and athleticism to draw the fire. And see where when you look at all that Tice provides for this team, it's amazing he doesn't get more credit. Well, you're right, GA, but he is surrounded by great players who deserve to attract the limelight. But he can rebound, defend, set picks, he can stretch the floor, and every year he continues to improve. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Pistons leading by 11. Rose passes to Griffin. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth quarter. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. And the lead is down inside single digits. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Rose against Walker. Rose, good. Rose has got four points now in the quarter. Calling his own number. Rose with the hoop. One of the best we've seen operate the two-man game. Buries it from three-point range. Gets it to him off the bounce pass and gets the assist. A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. Walker against Rose. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Has the utmost respect for D. Rose. I mean, partially due to his hoops IQ, he's excellent at drawing contact. And the Celtics making a change here. Hayward's checked in. Oh, he's never rattled at the strike. Always has that nice soft touch on his free throws. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. That's good from Tice. He hits both from the strike. 
Rose with the ball. Now the pass to Griffin. Over Tatum. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. He plays with such rapid intensity. I love how hard Griffin goes out. He's skilled at drawing the content. He doesn't get the second one. Celtics trail by nine. Bounce pass from Tatum. There's Brown with the three. Rebounded by the Pistons. Griffin's got his fifth rebound in this one. Kennard kicks to Rose. To the inside. Basket number five goes in. He's now five of 12 from the floor. There isn't a defender in the league who wants to take on Griffin inside. I mean, he's going to take you to school down there. From deep, Walker. Here's Tice. Lays it up and banks it in. Tice has got six here in this quarter. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. And when Rose goes on the attack, he stays on the attack, fights his way through the contact. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. That's just a needless giveaway. you got to make the defense work for their turnovers. And that was another look at the aggressive D that led to the mobile one block. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Throws against Walker. That one drops for him. Rose has got 12 points here in the second half. This is the game you hope Rose has every night. Shooting with tremendous confidence. Top of the key, Griffin. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for Detroit. And every opportunity they managed to push the ball and keep the up-tempo game going. I think it paid off, that's for sure. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Derrick Rose. He hung a big number on the scoreboard, and it wasn't just because he was hot. He did it with movement and tenacity. And a whole new group out on the floor for the Celtics. And a different look here for the Pistons. John Henson's checked in for Wood. Von Maker comes in for Blake Griffin. Doom Boy is checked in for Tony Snell. And Knight subbed in for Luke Kanaan. Rose against Edwards. Inside. Henson dishes to Maker. Bucket is good. And the Pistons lead by 15. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Well, this is what guys play for. And when it pans out like this, it's a great feeling. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, how they ended this one is much different than how they started it. And that's a shame. Stolen by Cantor. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Here's Ojale. Rebound by Rose. And it's Rose with the ball for the Pistons. So Detroit takes this one by a big margin. A solid win on the road for them. This building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down. And that's what you want to do. Take the crowd out of it by crunch time. Don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you very much, Blake. Another. All right, David, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Chris Weber, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long.